Well, it's the third win in seven days for the UC men's soccer team. A 2-0 victory over Thomas Moore tonight at Gettler Stadium. Joined now by head coach Hilton Days. And, uh, coach, a lot of momentum for your squad here as uh, you're about to head into conference play and uh, a lot of good vibes on this team. Yeah, you know, um, I think uh, tonight was a, wasn't easy, but certainly we got the win when it's all said and done. Uh, Ryan Melling stepped up and scored two really nice goals. Um, but like I said, you know, it, it was it's certainly they made us work for it. I mean, the first half... I felt like our speed of play could have been quicker. Um, I didn't think we were moving the ball quick enough. Our passing was, was a little bit off. And as a result, we really didn't create a lot of chances in the first half. So, you know, second half, I think there was a sense of urgency in our play. I thought that the tempo of the game was higher. I thought our movement was much better. And, um, you know, I think we created enough chances where we were able to get two, two good goals. You know, you mentioned heading into the game on Saturday against Bowling Green how kind of different styles of that one kind of posed a challenge to the team, just how to react to it. Kind of the same thing, I think, tonight. It just seemed like the style of the game was different. Is that something that, now that these young players have gone through that, that can be something that can uh, improve their game going forward? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think that um, Thomas Moore put a lot of players behind the ball, and they, 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 they made it difficult for us to find space, you know, to, to um, in behind them and also to play through them. So we had to solve those kinds of thing and I didn't, things, and I didn't think we were sharp enough in doing that. But I think it was certainly a challenge for us to try to break them down. And I think the second half when we increased the tempo, played a little quicker when we want it, we were able to get in behind them a little bit more. And, you know, but I, I thought this was a good challenge for our guys tonight because um, not only was it a – tactical um, challenge but I also think from a mental standpoint going into a game where you know you're you're uh, the, the, the big name team and you're at home and the pressure is on us to perform and you know eventually we solved it but you know it certainly took a little while. It did, but, uh, you know, all's well that ends well. You know, you mentioned a moment ago Ryan Malink uh, going, scoring both of the goals tonight. He's had three in a row back to Saturday. He's a guy that's really kind of turned it on and is playing well lately, along with several of these other younger players. But uh, you can kind of see uh, the momentum starting to shift in their direction here midway through the season. Yeah, you know, Ryan was red last year, and I think confidence is the key for him. I think he's playing with a lot of confidence now. He's running at players. He's looking to get in behind. And he's got that uh, good combination of size, speed, and, and finishing ability and so it's great to see him you know score goals and be dangerous because one of the things that we've said going into the season is where are the goals going to come from and here we are with Adam having with with obviously Ryan having three goals in in, in uh, you know in two games so that's good for us and hopefully he can continue to keep that going. He certainly has had a great run here over the last few games. Uh, now to, to close things out, we mentioned this is uh, the final game before you head into conference play, a big one at Memphis here this weekend. Yeah, you know, I mean, Memphis plays really well at home. Last year we, we had a, a, a really exciting game with them here. It was a 2-2 game. Um, you know, it's the first conference game and it's on the road. So, you know, it's a new season. Um, you know, everybody wants to get off to a good start. And certainly from our standpoint, you know, we've had some good results. I think the confidence is good. Now we just have to um, – you know, to recover from this game and obviously, you know, uh, you know, look at Memphis, see what they're doing and, and, and work out tactically how we're going to approach the game. But certainly I'd rather be going in there on a three-game winning streak than, uh, than, than not. No doubt about it, Coach. Thanks for your time and uh, best of luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. All right, that's head coach Hilton Days following the Bearcats' 2-0 victory over Thomas Moore, the team's third straight victory, and now back over 500 on the season. Here with Ryan Malink following his two-goal performance in the Bearcats' 2-0 victory over Thomas Moore. And uh, that's two tonight, uh, three in a row going back to Saturday for you. You've really been playing well lately. Thank you. It feels really good to be playing well. Um, I've been working hard all season and finally got a couple goals in. You know, it, it seems like for a, a lot of you guys out there, it's just kind of keep knocking on the door, keep knocking on the door. If, door, if the goals don't come right away, eventually you kind of have that breakthrough. And it seems like that breakthrough has kind of come for you here this week. Yeah, we just keep working. Um, Adam get, keeps giving great balls, and uh, he keeps getting more assists. And as a team, I think our buildup is good. We just need to find the back of the net better. And finally, you know, we've kind of talked about it all season with the youth of this team. So many freshmen and sophomores on this squad. As you guys have kind of been, uh, you know, gaining that chemistry, gaining that confidence, it seems like here in the last seven days, three wins, now back above 500 on the year. It seems like this team has really found a, a good rhythm, and uh, you guys seem to be uh, in good shape here heading into conference play. Yeah, we're just find a, trying to find a great rhythm going through. To uh, we, We're on the road this weekend at Memphis, so that will be a big game, and we need a big win there. Hey, certainly would be a great way to start conference play, but uh, you guys have uh, ended uh, the non-conference portion of the schedule well. Congratulations on the win tonight, and congratulations on your two goals. Thank you. All right, that's Ryan Malink following his two-goal performance tonight as the Bearcats defeat the Thomas Moore Saints 2-0.